Hello and welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I'm excited for today's Pick a Card. Today we're going to see who is obsessed with you right now or who will be obsessed with you soon. We'll see their you know, thoughts and feelings about you, their next moves, their love offer, how they'll come towards you, all of those details. And that is our topic today. My Etsy shop is in the description if you would like your own custom spell work, private tarot reading, manifestation candles, all of that stuff is there. Other than that, you can pause the video if you need more time with the piles and you can always pick more than one pile as well for all of my readings. For group one, we have the red Jasper Octo and we'll be using the Santa Morte Tarot. For group two, we have the Aquamarine, and we'll be using the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot. For group three, we have the Strawberry Quartz Octo, and we'll be using the Doodle Tarot. And for group four, we have the Lemon Quartz. And we will be using the Star Tarot for group four. So go ahead, pause the video if you need more time to decide, and we're just gonna jump right into it. All right, if you chose group one with the Red Jasper and the Santa Muerte Tarot, this is your reading, tapping in to see who is obsessed with you right now or will be soon. Who is this? What's gonna happen? What's their love offer? All that good stuff. Spirit for group one with the Red Jasper, please show us who is obsessed with them or will be soon. Very first card out, we got the patient card. So this is someone who is willing to wait. This could also be someone in your energy group one who is currently playing the long game. So if you have anyone in your energy and it's like they haven't made their big move yet, but you can feel that tension, yeah, we're likely picking up on that person today. Spirit, tell us more. Who is obsessed with group one? And you know what? I feel like them trying to play the long game and waiting it out is what's causing the obsession. Because it's just like through time, the more thoughts they invest in you, the more they become invested in a romantic sense, the more they become interested in a romantic sense. They really open up those neural pathways that say, we think about group one. So now it's like they think about you all the time, even when they're not trying to or they're doing other things. They could be at a whole event, busy, music loud, people talking to them and still thinking about you. We have the love bite card that has come out as well. So maybe this started off as a physical connection or this is someone you shared like a love bite with, you know, maybe just one kiss with something small but intimate and meaningful to them. And I also feel like it impacted them and it may have surprised them. So it's like maybe they didn't know it would feel so good. There's an energy here of them being like, okay, taken aback and very much so interested after the fact, whereas before leading up to it, they were taking it very lightly, not really thinking anything of it. I mean, it's just a, you know, whatever, it's just a love bite. And nothing I haven't done before until they realized, okay, that was actually impactful on me. So we have the turning point card. I see you guys reaching a turning point. I feel like maybe in the beginning this person didn't take it too seriously. So they were kind of going about it in a playful kind of way, a non-serious kind of way. Especially as they get to know you and your values and what you entertain and prioritize. That could have been a huge part of now them needing to pivot in a new direction. Because like say you guys before they had that love bite or before they had really started to feel like, okay, obsessed with you. Um, it was just casual. It was just something that they were kind of like, you know, 50-50 about. It could go good. It could go, you know, we could end up together. We could not. I'm cool either way. But then they find out like, oh, I was treating this one way super casual, but now that I've gotten to know group one, I see that they have this value or this expectation. And it's like, 
I did not give them that energy. So now they're kind of feeling like, okay, I'm going to have to go on a complete 180, turn things around so that group one can now take me seriously. You may have wrote them off due to how they were kind of moving uh, in the beginning. And there we have it. We got relationship proposal. <laughs> so we know where this is headed. It's looking like this is headed to them uh, asking you to be theirs, dating you seriously, taking you seriously. We also have finding the key here. So I do feel like they've realized where the disconnect was they realized where they need to level up and where they need to show up better or differently um so it's like all right they found the key and i'm also feeling like a little bit of an energy of ascension so it could be an energy of you've activated this person spiritually or spirit has really been causing them to ascend, ascend and expand so that they can meet your expectations whatever that may be or so they can show up properly. This could be someone that you met as you were um, out and about or at a party or as you were talking to other people. You could also find this person watching you as you're talking to other people or uh, as you're chatting. Um, I feel like it's hard not to notice this person's gaze. It's like, how could you not feel that? Yeah, we have going out slash mingling and banter. So I'm kind of feeling like maybe this is someone you met at the club or maybe this is someone you met out, someone you met at a party, someone you met with uh, other friends around because it seems like you've gotten an opportunity to banter or this person is watching you banter with other people and they're really yearning for that. They're like, why doesn't group one banter like that with me? Why they don't got jokes when they talk to me? Why is it gotta be just serious all the time? Like, how come I can't get out that any of that bright shiny version of group one uh, I feel like this person is a bit jealous even of your friends in the sense that they get a different side of you that this person doesn't feel like they have access to spirit what else can you tell us about this connection for group one who is obsessed with group one yeah first card out wait a little bit longer first card out from the first deck was patient talking about waiting a bit so you know, I feel like there's definitely a love offer coming through from this person. We did get relationship proposal and uh, the second deck is lining up with the first deck talking about if you wait this one out, you will have your desired outcome with this. Yeah, we got the synchronicity card here as well. So I definitely feel like spirit is speaking to this person and helping them along. Um, yeah, spirit doesn't want you to be the one that got away for group, <laughs> for group three. So you could be like, let's see. So you could be like the best that uh, they may get. I'm going to put this pile back. It didn't fall out. It kind of flipped over. If it comes out again, then I'll take it. Yeah, we got blast from the past and reunion here. So I'm seeing this person double back and with blast from the past, typically that's an energy of someone who you had a lot of fun with. It's a blast from the past. So it's usually someone that you kind of uh, forgot about or someone that you moved on from. Um, typically those blasts from the past as well come from like a specific era. Like there's always something like significant about those kind of connections. So yeah, it seems like this person, maybe they were around during your party era, during your era where you were out and about connecting with different people, doing your thing, having a lot of banter, going out and mingling, um, but you're not in that space anymore. And perhaps that could be the reason for the distance, if there is distance between the two of you, that you don't go out as much anymore and they kind of have a hard time uh, connecting with you or seeing you. So we have clear the clutter and give them a chance. You know what? I am going to hold you, group one. Spirit does want you to entertain this connection. Spirit does want you to give them a chance and see where it can go. With clean the clutter, they've been, you know, clearing out anything that has been in the way. 
they've actually been working through the stuff that has been making them less than, you know, desirable in this connection. Anything that kind of kept you guys out of alignment, this person is working through currently or they have already worked through and now it's just a matter of them coming towards you. We got synchronicity and happy family, so I feel like this person even had a dream uh, about you and them having a family, or you may have had a dream about the two of you having a family. But happy family talks about potential. It does talk about building, creating a solid foundation and growth. Um, and synchronicity is all about when you're being spoken to from the universe. So I feel like spirit is showing the both of you, okay, this is something significant. There could really be something more to this. You know, give this a chance, allow it to blossom, see what's, you know, see what it turns into. Anything else? Ooh, and I feel like this person, they tried to come at your connection in a vampire kind of way. We got Let's Take a Break and Vampire that just came out. So Spirit really kind of put them on the pause because they had to get rid of that. They had to get rid of all of that. Let's Take a Break and Vampire. This person, they may have been draining your energy, so you may have been the one to call in the break. But at a previous point in your journey, it does feel like this person was vamping off you. And I wasn't getting it that way before, but I mean, it could easily turn into that. What I got in the beginning is that they were just kind of immature, not immature, not taking things seriously. But Spirit is saying for some of you, this person had really been just basking and getting way too comfortable, you know, through the validation of even being associated with you, that is validating in itself. If you can say, oh, XYZ is my friend, you get cool points for that why a lot of people try to be friends with people who have fame or notoriety and it doesn't even have to be fame or notoriety you could be someone with pretty privilege you could be someone who's attractive or someone who has a good job or someone who people consider to be classy or wife material husband material boom popularity boom all these people are trying to you know be connected to you in any way so this person was getting way too comfortable with the validation that came with being connected to you so spirit had to kind of pull them out all right well, what's their next move, Spirit? What's their love offer? We did get relationship proposal. Yeah, see, we got the nine, Knight of Cups coming out right away. So it seems like you guys didn't even really get to date that well. And it's crazy because you may know where this person lives. You may have been to their house. They may have been to your house. Yet still, Knight of Cups, there hasn't been an official date or at least not multiple, like a courting phase. So Knight of Cups, this person is kind of um, backpedaling to do all the things that you guys didn't get to do. Knight of Cups is specifically like the courting phase where you're going on multiple dates and getting to know each other on a deeper level and also having deeper conversations about who you are and what you want and being open and honest during this time. So... If you guys kept it surface level or if you felt like you couldn't ask about certain things or if they wouldn't uh, talk about certain things or even vice versa, if there were some things you were holding back from them so that you don't end up getting hurt, um, I do see this time moving forward when you guys are talking again, dating again, it's going to be a courting phase where you're going to be open with this person and they're going to be much more open with you. Got the King of Cups. Nice. I love to see that progression. Nice. So you know what? I feel like everything is in alignment. We got the star card here. The star card talks about wish fulfillment, uh, but also divine alignment and right timing. So you now have the support of the universe, which is why we were getting so much energy before of the universe kind of speaking to them through synchronicity and communicating with them and why there can be a turning point here now because you have the proper conditions for it. Which is really a hack to manifesting. Just make yourself, you know, the person that has the proper conditions for X, Y, Z, whatever you want to happen, to happen. And then let the universe take care of the rest. Let the universe take care of bringing people in. And you just make sure the proper conditions are there. You just make sure you're ready. We got the Ace of Swords reversed. Um, 
So if there was like any moment where the communication went sour or left, if this person disrespected you or there was an argument that happened that put a bad taste in their mouth, if there is anything specific that you can look back on that you feel like, okay, that's when things shifted, maybe they got jealous at a certain point or something got brought up and then they got triggered, it's never been the same since then. I also see you guys starting from a blank slate with that. They're not holding that against you or vice versa. You're not holding that against them. You're moving forward from that. We have much better conditions now and we're not as triggered. We have the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. I love to see that progression from the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. So not only are they trying to take you on dates, they're not gonna keep you in that loop either of just kind of dating. They're coming to lock it down and this person had to get ready and I even feel like this Ace of Cups is directly talking about them. Now they're drinking from their own cup. This person had to get to a place where they have their own personal source of Whatever they were getting from you that they were vamping off before, for some people it's validation, for some people it's comfort, for some people, like it's so many things that you can get and you can vamp off. Whatever they were getting before, they have their own source of that, their own sustainable source of from that. So it may have been a long time since you talked to this person unless they had some crazy rapid growth period. I was hearing ascension. So ascensions can happen rather fast. It's a huge breakthrough, which is why it's so noticeable. Yeah. We got the Ten of Swords reversed, the Chariot with the Hierophant reversed. So you're not going to see this one coming. We got the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Now they're able to pour into you. I love this. Such a good, strong progression here. So we got the Ten of Swords reversed, the Hierophant reversed, and the Chariot card. Chariot is things moving forward specifically in balance. And uh, with the Hierophant here, I do feel an energy of both of you having things to work on or spirit kind of leading this connection. Um, and that's the thing about soulmate connections. It's easy to treat them like any other kind of connection, but... The reality of the situation is, I mean, we're led to each other, you know, by spirit. So you don't always know why someone is being led into your life. So, you know, a lot of times you got to let the higher power handle that. Spirit, what are their thoughts and feelings? What are they thinking? Ooh. <laughs> yep. I hope you're not with someone else. And let's start over. That's exactly the energy. It's matching up to what we're seeing here. They're hoping that you're not talking to someone else, giving them your time, your energy. Specifically, physically, this person gets very triggered. I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, when they think of you being intimate with another person, it really, really bothers them. Um, so they hope that you're not with someone else. But honestly, that is not my problem. That's just not my pro problem, okay? Uh, it's really not your problem. I wouldn't even worry your pretty little head about that. I mean, that's life. You you miss all the shots you don't take. If they fumbled, I wouldn't dare feel bad for a moment for entertaining someone else. I don't care what they talking about. <laughs> you ain't gonna make me feel bad for living my life. Uh, we have I'm spying on you. So this person is likely watching your social media, um, watching your page, spying on you in some way, uh, trying to do what they can to get information about you if you have any mutuals at all um, or even a family member of theirs that you're still cool with that family member may be getting poked and prodded maybe even unconsciously for information now if this person comes back to you and they know every detail then that person was yapping but um yeah i'm picking up on that as well where it's like they're likely sourcing some information about you from someone uh close to you if not online or just spying watching you say you um, work with this person you likely often um, catch this person staring at you in the corner of your eye or trying to some way somehow end up in your space that you work 
we have I'm planning on messaging you soon. So it seems like this person is just coming straight forward with it. They're tr not trying to delay, not trying to waste any time and not trying to beat around the bush. They're planning on messaging you. So they're going to be reaching out to you, which I love to see because a lot of people come around and they want to get your attention and basically make it so you're the one that has to kind of restart things. But I like that they're going to be the person to just message you. And we have I am still healing. So we did get wait a little bit longer and patient that came out before patience is required for this journey. I feel like the bulk of the work or the bulk of the ascension or the wait is uh, past. So it's only a matter of time here. I don't feel like you'll be waiting too, too long for anything. Um, they'll likely, you know, message you sooner rather than later and then you guys will get started. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group one? Yeah, we have consciousness and openness. So I feel like this person had to lock in, lock in with the divine, lock in with the higher power, get that higher level of consciousness. That was the only way that this was going to work out because otherwise um, they were getting kind of nowhere fast. Consciousness, it says, today I pay attention to every thought and feeling that I manifest. My outer world reflects my inner world and my inner consciousness. I pour the light of my awareness to the most constructive thoughts so that they will grow and produce experiences that I want. Mindful of I, what I create in this universe, I become an expression of divine light. So Spirit is saying this is a good time to focus on mindset, um, a good time, you know, maybe to get into some law of assumption. That's really good for keeping your eye on positive outcomes but uh, whenever you're even you know your mind is kind of idle I would just focus on something else because the thing about law of assumption it still kind of keeps you thinking about the thing that you want which can still kind of drive you a bit cray cray if you're already feeling bothered by something so I would say just kind of keeping yourself busy make a list of a bunch of different things that you can do whenever your mind is idle so that you can get your mind off certain things uh, we have openness here. It says, I know that when one door closes, another opens. Today, I trust the universe. I trust myself. I trust life. No matter what has gone on before, I have faith that something better is on its way. My willingness to release the past prepares me to accept many new opportunities that the universe opens before me. So you know what? Spirit is like, listen, I'm not going to keep you waiting either. You're kind of in a win-win position, group one. Spirit's like, listen, if this person does decides to turn around or drag their feet or if anything kind of gets out of alignment we'll, we'll just go ahead and replace them because we don't chase them <laughs> so spirit is saying like don't you worry you're gonna have something regardless of what way things kind of go and that's what I got for you my Etsy shop is in the description if you would like your own private tarot reading that is where you can find me and that's what I got for you today I'll talk to you soon Alright, if you chose group two with the aqua crystal and the nomad soul warrior tarot, this is your reading. <laughs> Tapping in to see who is obsessed with you right now or will be soon. Their thoughts, feelings, next moves. What's going to happen? We'll get all of that good stuff. Spirit for group two with the aquamarine crystal. Please show us who is obsessed with group two right now or will be soon. Ooh, we got the life partner card coming out first right away. So perhaps you're in an energy where you're about to meet your life partner or you already have. And this person is really falling for you. Wow, we got the other half card that has came out as well similar to life partner energy so it definitely kind of feels like you'll be meeting your person if you haven't already we got the patient card here so spirit's like well hold on let's not you know get too hasty 
For some of you, this is something that has taken a while to come in. I'm also tapping into a collective um, who chose group two who are kind of like not dating at this time unless it's already really promising. So you may be setting new standards like, okay, I will only even go on a date with someone after talking to them um, on the phone, after talking to them through text message for, you know, X, Y, Z, however long. Um, you could be setting new standards like before people can even get you to a date. Right away, definitely feeling a deep resonance with this person. So it makes total sense why this person is obsessed with you because it seems like this connection is more than meets the eye. Definitely someone uh, you are meant to meet and um, someone you have a lot of potential to settle down with. All righty, let's talk about it. Actually, let's get this out of, way, out of the way. We have crimes of passion and missed a step. This is the only energy that's kind of off. So there is someone in your energy that does need to be handled. I don't think that you properly closed th this cycle or maybe it didn't get closed at all. You may have escaped from this person in some way, but this person has a bone to pick with you. This person is upset that you are no longer accessible to them. And crimes of passion is like when someone gets so wrapped up in their emotions and their feelings that they may even commit a crime, okay? They may do something completely unhinged. Um, so I do see that you've missed a step in some way. This could be like spirit told you to do a cord cutting a long time ago, but you were like, ah, things kind of calmed down. They didn't seem that, you know, great. Like, I'm, it's, it's going to be fine. Mm, I feel like this person has very much so been brewing um, and you just haven't been able to see them. So it's like because it's not like right in your face, it, it can be kind of easy to ignore. But I don't think that means at all that this person is not a threat in any way. So I would definitely go ahead and do that cord cutting. Um, yeah, this could be an energy of someone who really wants you as well. Maybe you're receiving something from this person. So maybe this is someone you'll go on dates with, but you're not actually dating. Uh, maybe this is someone who you'll flirt with. You'll allow them to do nice things for you, but you're not taking them seriously and things aren't progressing. This person, even if they're really good at masking, which I feel like they are, um, they are brewing in your energy and showing up in your reading. And with that missed a step card, spirit is saying you forgot to cut this person off or you forgot to do that cord cutting or have that conversation to let them know, like, listen, I'm not interested anymore. So things won't be going forward. You know, I won't be able to go forward with you. And they've just been kind of sitting and brewing. So this person is obsessed with you as well. There is someone who is obsessed with you that you haven't made it completely clear where things are going to go or, you know, how you're feeling or what you're going to do there. They're feeling like they're just kind of sitting in limbo. So definitely handle that. Uh, we have you get me here. So I see you calling in your life partner, very significant connection coming in for you. Group two, we got the life partner card. So this is going to be significant. And with that patience card that came out as well, this is like the connection that you have been waiting for. So uh, yeah, I'm hearing, um, I've been patient. <laughs> so there's an energy here of you like really patient, being really patient, doing the work and calling towards you a specific kind of person. You may have even made like a, a mood board, a vision board uh, for this. You may have done something that would really kind of call in this energy. We have the curious card here as well. So I'm feeling like there is someone who is curious about you. Listen, this could be the time for you. This is just the time where everything's coming to a head. And that's what they say. As soon as you get in a relationship, all these people are coming out of the woodwork, expressing their interest. All of a sudden, this person, that person, this person you've seen every single day. All of a sudden, I have all these feelings as uh, soon as you're not available anymore, as soon as you're paying attention to something else or someone else. So it wouldn't surprise me that they're all coming through at this time. We got the other half card here, so I see you guys being a very good connection. Really, honestly, all the things that you've been asking for, this person has. So the person who's obsessed with you, this feels like it's coming in the near future, is your other half, is your life partner. You have someone who's curious about you that's kind of developing an obsession. The more they think about you, their mind just keeps going and going and going and building. 
they're becoming obsessed and then you have this crimes of passion energy that you forgot to close off or that you may have escaped from but you didn't do a big you know cord cutting to separate from that person maybe at the time it felt too extreme but very necessary especially seeing where it's you know led now so we got going out slash mingling and earth energy. You can look out for earth signs. Uh, that would be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for your other half. And you may likely meet them as you're going out and mingling. So if spirit has been calling you to go out and connect with new people, I would definitely say that's likely not for no reason. All right, let's keep going, spirit. What can you tell us for group two? Who is obsessed with them? now or will be soon uh-huh we got this forbidden fruit energy so spirits like listen it's time for you guys to talk we got forbidden fruit and manifesto a manifesto is like a long monologue it's an expression of your feelings your thoughts and emotions um so this could even be on your end especially if someone's already in this like kind of sketchy energy i wouldn't go out of your way to you know have this manifesto with them and you know tell them some long drawn out thing that's just going to get them more heightened emotions, you know, more than they already are. But I would, you know, speak to spirit, God, the divine, the higher power, whatever you believe in and say, dear spirit, please, you know, clear this person out of my energy. Please protect me from this person. I have learned, list all the things you've learned from this connection, this situation. I thank you for the lessons of this relationship, but I am now ready to move forward and completely move on from this connection. So I ask that you clear this forbidden fruit out of my path. So I'm not tempted by it anymore and make it so I am not tempted by it anymore so that I don't also reach out to this person and that they don't reach out to me. Uh, spirit, replace the thoughts of me with something else in that person's mind so I have nothing to worry about. And go ahead and release that. You know, pour your heart out. Make sure it's heartfelt. Feeling is the secret. So when you put your emotions in there, that just makes your manifestation that much more potent. So... We have time for a change here. So it's like spirit is on some totally new different stuff. We have time for a change in abundance of love. So spirit is like, yeah, group two is ready to be spoiled. It is groups, group two's time, their season to be spoiled, to receive an abundance of love, to be with the person who's really going to do that for them in a genuine way without ulterior motives, without any weird energy, hot and cold, not ready, this and that, excuse, 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 blah, blah, you know, someone who's actually ready and on the same wavelength. We got the happy family card, so that could be the missing link. Um, between uh, the options that you have now and the people who are interested in you now and what you want to call in. Perhaps you want to have your own family or you want to have kids or you want to have a, you know, your own land where you can have a bunch of animals or where you can host your friends and family. You know, it just seems like your, even your values and kind of what you want out of life is becoming more simple or more straightforward. Like I know what I want and it's hard to ignore it at this point. So spirit wants you to have that as well. We got long-term relationship. I mean, if that wasn't clear, we, we already knew that. We got the life partner card that came up you get me other half a lot of really strong cards and earth energy people who you know are earth sign dominant in their chart typically have more of a bias towards long-term connections long-term relationships starting a family securing the bag together you know more security and longevity so but this person coming through with that earth energy that lets us know they likely have traditional values they're likely someone who's looking for something long lasting and with them being your other half it's like you're two peas in a pod so it's just no question we have a long-term relationship here that will be what will come of this we have reunion and I won't keep asking. So I do see that this person, this crime of passions person, um, yeah, they're, they're going to have their time. They're going to have their time to say what they need to say, do what they, you know, need to do. So like I said, I would ask for that protection or do that cord cutting. I have, I could do a cord cutting for you as well. I have custom spell work on my Etsy shop, but you can't do it completely on your own. Um, but yeah, it seems like this person is kind of giving you an ultimatum, so... I would definitely handle that. Let's break down these energy. Spirit, we didn't get very much on this person. Tell us about this person who's curious in group two's energy. 
What is their next moves? What is their love offer? Who is this? We have the Page of Cups reverse. So this person has been like more of a secret admirer type of energy. This is someone who likely stares at you for a moment longer than normal. Um, this is someone who you may get flirtation from every once and again. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. So this could be someone who's in a high position. This could even be like your manager or a mentor, someone who you know and respect. Um, but we have the Knight of Swords. So this person is quite busy. They're good with communication. They seem a bit nerdy a little bit. Like, or, like uh, not your usual type or they don't see themselves as the usual type of anyone kind of thing. <clears throat> this person is curious about you, but they also have their doubts that they'll be able to fulfill you. It seems like you have different aesthetics. Uh, it reminds me of this um, a reel that I saw the other day. <laughs> this girl was like, chat, am I cooked? I look like this and I want and I like, um, you know, quiet, innocent, you know, nerdy type boys. And she's like, all alt out. And everybody was like, no, that's what they go for. They love alt girls. Like, you'll be fine. But it kind of just reminds me of that reel where it's like, this person may be counting themselves out because they have a certain aesthetic and that aesthetic could be totally different than yours. And they could be automatically assuming that things aren't, you know, going to work or you're not in alignment. It could also be like an age gap or a difference in religion, spirit. Are they going to make a big move? We have the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Swords here. So it seems like overall this person is going to kind of choose themselves. Honestly, Ace of Swords is about communication and taking action. So they will likely, you know, take some sort of action towards you. But with that Page of Cups reverse, it's almost like they take action towards you to protect you or take care of you in some way or to just do nice things for you but with that page of cups reverse they don't dare make a solid romantic move or like ask you on a date so you may honestly have to read between the lines of this person's actions and um you may kind of struggle with that one because it's like knight of pentacles reversed is an energy of not making an investment it's an energy of holding yourself back and not doing what needs to be done to make something happen and that's kind of what I see there for them. So if I had to say this person's who's curious, I don't feel like they're, I feel like they're going to do something nice for you. We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Like I feel like they'll do something nice for you, but uh, they're kind of counting themselves out. So if you would want this one to work out, I would say you would want to do something to kind of, you know, you would want to do something to kind of bring that together. Spirit, tell us about crimes of passion. Is this something they should worry about? We have the King of Swords, okay, uh, with the Strength card reverse. This person is tired of waiting and tired of being bothered. We have the Eight of Pentacles with the Hierophant reverse. Why don't you choose me is what I'm hearing. Like, this person is feeling quite disappointed. And also, they're just feeling like they don't get it. They don't get you. Like, Hierophant reverse, why are you trying to, you know, walk away? Like, they genuinely don't get it. So this person, I feel like they just may not be your type or you haven't given them a chance. And that's actually quite frustrating to them. We have the strength card reversed and the king of swords. So that is an energy of them being a bit forceful, like coming on way too strong, trying to do something to get what they want. You know, that's definitely an energy of them being definitely an energy of them being a, like aggressive. You know, so I would definitely handle that. We got the devil card at the bottom of the deck. It is reversed. I like that. Um, that lets us know you do have spiritual protection. And also, amplifying your spiritual protection is the best thing that you can probably do at this time for this one. Take a cleansing bath. Clear them out of your energy. That'll also help. That way they don't feel your energy as much, um, as strongly. That'll keep them from you know, kind of ending up at the same place at the same time as you. And that'll also keep them from um, feeling your energy as much. So being bothered by their thoughts of you and things like that, that'll help with that too. Okay, let's set some attention for spirit. Tell us about this life partner energy. What will this turn into? Cards are flying out. I 
mean, we pretty much know. <laughs> it's been so clear and strong. Yeah, and Spirit, we got the lover's card and it came out fully on the table. So Spirit is like, this is the real lover's card energy. This is the real one that, you know, you would be kind of hoping and waiting for. We got the lover's card and the queen of pentacles. We also have the two of pentacles here. So I feel like, you know, both of you have been doing the work and I just see you getting closer and closer. This two of pentacles with the infinity symbol around the pentacles is kind of reminding me of like when two planets get in a into each other's orbit and then they start pulling each other and then they spin faster and faster and faster until they finally collide that's how it feels like between the two of you where it's like you're getting pulled into each other's orbit so if you find yourself at places that you wouldn't normally be or you don't even know how or why you ended up in these places and it's like wait what am I doing I'm doing things out of my usual uh, routine or habit my usual comfort zone yeah, I feel like that's a uh, spirit kind of leading you to this person. So definitely move forward when you get those intuitive nudges because it's leading you to this person you have all this high compatibility with. The beauty about the lover's card type of connection is it is supported by the universe and led by the universe. So automatically, significantly less work required for these ones to come together. We got temperance here and the two of swords reversed. So I see a lot of illumination, or sorry, that's the Five of Swords reverse. The cursive is so tiny on these cards. Five of Swords reverse. So temperance is, you know, things coming into balance, things coming together, coming into fruition. Five of Swords reversed would be uh, more about disengaging from conflict, clearing your energy, not dealing with people who don't appreciate you anymore, not dealing with low vibrational people and love offers, moving forward. Moving on and balance. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group two? We have the appreciation card. It says, I am grateful for the abundance in my life as I direct my thoughts towards all that is wonderful in my world. My troubles and worries lighten. With a full heart, I accept all that I have. Today, I accept what is as it is and I choose to be satisfied. I express my loving thanks to the universe and the wealth that is mine. So Spirit is saying this is a good time to express some gratitude and to focus on the things that you do have and to appreciate that gratitude is a hack to manifestation and manifesting bigger and better. I had one of my personal biggest quantum leaps when I, as soon as I started doing, um, like having a grat gratitude journal, so I can attest to that as well. We have the inner alchemist. It says, like an alchemist, I possess all the power to build a life of joy and harmony. Today, through my positive thoughts, words, and deeds, I create my own light. I understand that I can use my inner magic of intention to transform myself in the way that an alchemist transform, transforms lead into gold. Today, I create happiness. So pull from within. You're going to be able to tell what makes you happy and also... Some people are genuinely happy staying at home, in bed, watching movies. Don't allow anyone to make you feel like your version of happiness is something that you shouldn't do because it's not their version of happiness. That's what I got for you, group two. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like your own private tarot reading or any of my other magical offerings, that's where you can find your girl. And that's what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group three with the Doodle Tarot and the Strawberry Quartz, this is your reading, tapping in to see who is obsessed with you or will be soon. Their love offer, next moves, all that good stuff. What will happen in this connection? We shall see, Spirit, for group three with the Strawberry Quartz. Please show us who is obsessed with group three or will be soon. Oh, 
we got that new new that has come out so it seems like you have the uh, attention of someone new and uh, someone who may be affluent in some way or well respected or someone who uh, is wealthy we have that new new and manifested connection so I would say these are the same energies if you have been manifesting someone who is wealthy if you've been manifesting someone um, who could you know take care of you or someone who could add a lot to your life financially well this is likely by design that we have that here today we got fire energy. You can look out for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarians. We got air energy. So you can look out for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius as well. And it seems like Spirit has just recently kind of given you the... Yep, I was just going to say that. It seems like Spirit has just given you the missing link between you being able to manifest what you want. We got missed a step that came out first, and then we have getting more information. So group three, let me see if I can take, get rid of this glare on the table. Let me see it. Uh, it's a little better, but it's not completely gone. I have a little crack. But, um, yeah, there's an energy of missed a step in getting more information that you had been, you know, kind of trying to manifest and you'd been trying to call a specific uh, person or archetype in and you had missed something. There was some missing piece of all of this that kept you from getting to your ultimate end goal. But I do see that that has been rectified and spirit has now aligned you with uh, what you're looking for. So I do see that manifested connection coming in for you, group three. And you may have even been specifically asking spirit, like, okay, make it so this person is obsessed with me, spirit. Like, make it so this person cannot get enough of me. And that would make total sense why a manifested connection would come up in this kind of reading. Because typically the people that you manifest are people that you really want. So it's like, this would be that person, that energy that you would be really kind of wanting and looking forward to. Now we got air and fire coming out. So I feel like this is going to happen very quickly, very strongly, out of the blue. Um, you know what air does to fire. It just amplifies it. It strokes the fire. Pause. But it does. Uh, so maybe you're air sign dominant and you love free uh, reading. Um, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, air... Um, definitely amplifies fire so I feel like everything is happening very quickly in this connection and I feel like this person has a lot of life force they could even have some star power um, but what I can definitely say is this is a brand new connection this is someone you don't know we actually have the crime of passion card so whoever you may be currently dealing with could be getting very bitter and upset that you have a new energy coming into your life treating you well especially if you're someone who has social media once you get posting about all these new amazing things that you're getting to do and how your life has transformed for the better and you're so happy oh <laughs> that can definitely amplify that and make someone feel upset that they no longer have access to you Ooh, we got the prophecy card here. So it seems like this is something that you already knew was coming through. This could be someone that you have gotten like a private reading about. Like, okay, you know, tell me what's next in love for me. Tell me what's coming towards me. And you have multiple readers or a pr specific private reading where you know someone's tapping into your direct energy, telling you verbatim about this person. They could have told you it could be a fire or air sign. They could told you that this person may have some money or wealth, something like that. Or that could be what you're manifesting. But with the prophecy card, this was already supposed to happen. So you kind of have the universe working with you on this one, bringing this together. And it seems like this is something you had already tapped into at some point. You already knew that was going to happen. So let's keep going, Spirit, for group three. Who is obsessed with group three or will be soon? Yeah, a lot of new energy coming up. 
Ooh, and this person is so obsessed with you. I'm so loving this. We have stuck to you like glue and desire like fire. So this person is very desiring of you. Um, we did get that fire energy that came up before, which just as an element, not talking about the signs, fire is a life giver. It's an amplifier. It warms things up. It's a transmuter. So I feel like this person will make you feel and make you blossom into the best version of yourself through their support, through them being so supportive and even amplifying you being your you know kind of biggest cheerleader that kind of thing uh it's like you are just blossoming into an even better version of yourself and this person is so into you i can't help but to wonder if this also applies to this crimes of passion person as well but we'll see if there's anything to worry about there or who that is and you know what will happen we have the baby bump card so you could very much so end up getting pregnant by this person or starting a family with this person. Baby Bump also talks about like fertility and newness in a more symbolic kind of way. Doesn't have to be literal, especially if you're whole masculine out there out here like, well, how was that supposed to happen? How are they going to get me? Listen, just because it hasn't been done before, it doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Okay, you get in that thing, soldier, and you try to get that masculine pregnant. Okay, and then report back and tell me if it worked because I got a couple. I would like, anyways. Um, we have reunion and gone here. <laughs> so there is someone in your energy who may have even ghosted. Honestly, the gone card, typically it talks about when someone poof, like literally kind of disappears. So yeah, it's looking like you're having one of those moments where it's like, now that you're finally focused on someone new, something new, you got all these people of the past who are like, well, wait, I got feelings for you. And, you know, trying to reminisce and all of this stuff and trying to make something happen. And it's like, you had all this time to do your biggest one. And you didn't make a move, but now that I'm finally in a relationship or finally talking to someone who is significant, important to me, now you got all these feelings, boy, please, girl back, like, come on, but we'll, we'll look into it, like, maybe these are people who you still have, you know, feelings left over for and you would like to um, have um, a chance with, so we shall see what they are, we want to immediately write them off. Spirit for group three, who is obsessed with them or will be soon? Yeah, there's people who are obsessed with you who want to benefit from you. Um, we got Pump Your Breaks and Vampire. So this is an energy of someone who is very much so a taker. And interestingly enough, even though it's a vampire card, Spirit just said traditional values. So this could be someone who vamps off of you, but more based in a lack of self-awareness versus genuinely trying to vamp off of you, you know what I mean? Like in a malicious kind of sense. This person could have been raised, you know, by um, honestly a feminine or masculine, but that taught them that they, you know, so like a lot of times in traditional masculine, f feminine polarities, you'll get, okay, the masculine, all they got to do is work and the feminine has to do like basically literally everything else. And so if they were raised in that polarity, they could be a taker because they really feel like it's normal to always be on your hip. You know, like they're your child, you know, they could feel like it's normal to take, take, take and always be needing something, asking for something, needing your energy, needing your attention, whatever. Um, pump your brakes is like you being like, okay, listen, I don't know what you're on or what you're trying to do, but I'm not into this. This could be someone who's completely misreading the room, who just doesn't take a hint and realize that you're not interested in them romantically, but there is someone in your energy who is trying to vamp off of you in some way. Um... And with that Pump Your Breaks card, I do feel like you're going to actually have to put this person in their place and just kind of tell them, like, listen, I'm not on what you're on, and um, I'm not going to be able to provide you what you're looking for. Like, I feel like you're going to have to kind of put these people in their place in some way. So let's see. Spirit, for Crimes of Passion, what's going to happen here? What is their love offer? What are they going to do? the seven of swords this person is trying to win at all costs 
we have the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Magician. And I was feeling that for a second, but I think I started to talk about something else. Some of you are successful. You've reached your own success yourself. For some of you, it's not even that you're like, you know, so up at the top of your game or that you're so amazingly successful. It's actually more about just... Uh, people wanting to latch on to you because you're the best that they could get um, or feeling like a sense of control over you like they just don't want to lose. Uh, we got the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck which is about moving on, moving forward and it could be about starting a family, moving into a new home as well. So this person with these crimes of passion, this is someone who with that magician likely had a lot of control over you in the past or this could even be someone that you chased at some point. This could be someone you're very strongly attached to they see you as the queen of cups which a lot of times with the queen of cups a lot of people feel like she's just this being of infinite love like it doesn't come from somewhere as if she doesn't need to be rejuvenated a lot of people overlook the queen of cups needs and they don't even associate needs with the queen of cups because she's so abundant but that doesn't mean that you're not still a person a human in a relationship is a give and take so I feel like this person just kind of feels entitled, entitled to you. And honestly, that could be a theme with all these other energies that we're getting. Spirit, tell us about this vampire. They are going to try to lock it down with the Magician card, especially with the Seven of Swords winning at all costs. I feel like this person is going to come towards you positively and then Seven of Swords when you try to cl close the door on them. Or as soon as they can sense that it's not gonna pan out the way that they want to this person could have a bit of a bite to them so definitely be aware of that spirit tell us about this vampire So we have the Ten of Wands reversed and the Chariot. This person is wanting to work through or move past whatever puts you out of alignment or whatever makes you incompatible and they just want to move forward. Um, we have the Moon card reversed. So to be honest, I do see that this person is very sure of what they want and very sure that they want you. But you're the one kind of telling them to pump their brakes. So they may be in a hyper masculine energy where they're trying to hurry up and, you know, mac you up and, you know, get you to agree to X, Y, Z before you even get to know them. Or um, with that Ten of Wands reverse, that could also be an energy of not wanting to put in the work, not wanting to go through the journey that gets you to that end goal. For some of you, this is someone that you're just meeting. For some of you, this is someone that you've denied. For those of you who this is someone that you're just meeting, it's, it's like they're trying to rush to the end goal before really dating you and putting in the work. Um, for those of you who do know this person, it's like ten of wands reverse. You don't exactly see them as who you would need or the masculine that you desire in a relationship. That's kind of like an energy of... You know, you don't have what it takes, you know, you, this person could be immature or childish or like I said, this is where we were getting those traditional values before. So maybe they were raised not to prioritize, you know, cleaning up after themselves or not having an attitude every time you speak with them. Ain't nobody going to deal with your attitude. I am not your mama. Okay. Ain't nobody going to deal with that. Um, so they just don't, they don't get that. Um, we have the page of wands. It's like they are coming through making an investment with the page of wands, but it's like this person, you may have really good physical intimacy with this person or a lot of fun with this person and you'll have a really fun date with this person and they kind of feel like that's enough. Or you'll have one date with this person and this feel, this person will ask you something like, all right, so you're going to be my girl. You're going to be my boyfriend. And it's like, we had one date. It takes time to grow to that. This person is just trying to boom, shoot right to the end goal. To be fair, though, we do have the moon reversed. So I do feel like this person is, you know, sure of what they want. And I do feel like they're trying to um, just kind of lock it down as quickly as possible. They know what they want. That's not the problem. The problem is more that they just haven't put in the work to get what they want. Spirit, tell us about this reunion. It feels like you got all these people in your energy because cycle close, cycle close, cycle close. Ta-da! Manifested connection, the one that you really want. Tell us about this reunion with this person who ghosted. Well, we have the lover's card here, so there was actually a lot of potential. Um, but we have the fool card reversed, so at some point that did not get to be explored or this person didn't choose it. 
Now with the lover's card, I always got to give that a little extra, you know, energy and attention because you see like this figure of the angel on top with the couple, um, that represents spirit that represents the higher power so the higher power is in support of this connection i feel like that kind of puts you in a win-win where you can choose you know whatever one you feel is best for you we got the nine of wands reverse with the two of pentacles reverse so i am seeing things going quite a bit easier but similar to this other energy i don't feel like they're fully trying to put in that work and for them, it would be like apologize. Now, this person would need to apologize and acknowledge the fact that they ghosted. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, good, and the Ace of Cups reverse. So, best case scenario is they come in humbly. I do feel like they will likely apologize, but I also feel like they're the way that they're coming in, like when they're first talking to you, they're they're just like casual, like hey, what's up? So you may have to check them like at the door, like. You literally ghosted me the last time you talked. Don't try to come in casual. Like, you know, you may have to acknowledge that so that they can apologize. Because I do feel like they're going to try to take the path of least resistance and just kind of like slide in if they can. Spirit, tell us about this manifested connection. We have the Queen of Wands and the Three of Pentacles reverse. So there definitely was a delay with this uh, manifested connection. And we did get missed a step in getting more information at some point. So that can definitely talk about a delay or something that was missing from the process that needed to be done for this to fully come to fruition. Yeah, we got the Strength card that just showed up reverse. So something about maybe you guys weren't in alignment. Maybe they weren't open or available or ready. Four of Swords, maybe there were some other cycles open that needed to be closed or some shadow work or reflection that need to be done. That basically talks about preparing and getting ready. Four of Swords is all about reflecting over your journey and also tying up any loose ends in your mind and coming to terms with the things that you've been through, but also the things that you want moving forward and where you're going to move forward, where you're going to go. And Queen of Wands, that's usually a glow up, an embodiment of who you are now. So I see you having a glow up after this whole process of manifesting. I see this person coming in after a delay. And I see that it'll be well worth the wait. What else can you tell us for group two? It says, I reap what I sow. So the more you kind of put in that work the better and better the manifestation will be. It says, today I remember, and I think, uh, uh, sorry, it says, today I remember that all I think and all I do will come back to me in some way. I understand that I reap the fruits of what I sow and fill my life with thoughts and deeds of abundance, light, and love. I sow these seeds knowing that they will harvest the greatest of riches. So yeah, that's a return on your investment. That's a return on the investment that you've even made into other people. So Spirit is saying like all is not lost. You will still reap the rewards of what you have sown even in other connections with people who didn't step up to the plate or didn't deserve you. So I feel you coming into a winning season and being blessed by the universe. We have the trusting card. Spirit is calling you to trust the process and to allow spirit to wow you. It says, today I trust in spirit. No matter what happens as my day unfolds, I will remember to remain in harmony. I will maintain my sense of humor and I will keep my focus on the universe's love for me. In these ways, I will minimize drama and increase my spiritual strength. Yeah, and uh, people are obviously <laughs> trying to get you wrapped up in drama at this time. So anything you can do to take a step back from that and remain focused, keep your eye on the prize on what you want and moving forward and what you're trying to manifest, the better. That's what I got for you, group three. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, that's where you can find me. And that's what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the lemon, crystal, and the star tarot, this is your reading. Tapping in to see who is obsessed with you right now or will be soon. We shall see, we shall see, what is their love offer, where will it go, all that good stuff, spirit for group four with the lemon quartz, please show us who's 
obsessed with them right now or will be soon. Where will it go? All that good stuff. So I'm definitely seeing you build a bond with this person. Yeah, we got the pure card that has just come up. So one thing coming through so distinctly for this spread group four is that this person is someone you have like a genuine connection with. And by genuine, I mean that it's just very, it's very simple. It's not about like uh, what you may be looking for, what this person may be looking for. Like it's not about filling a void. Um, so it's just kind of like, Two people connecting, understanding each other, enjoying the close connection that they have. Very, very simple. Spirit for group four. Who is obsessed with them right now? And it seems like Spirit is bringing this person in. Yeah, we got the Blossoming Romance card. So this is how it's going down. We got angelic help and guidance. So this is someone that the universe is specifically guiding into your life. You may have even done like a ritual or something to call your angels around you or your ancestors, your spiritual team, whoever, a specific deity or angel you wanted to work with. You could have set this intention um, or it could just be, you know, them doing you a solid and kind of helping you. But I would say this is a good time to, you know, kind of you can even just speak out loud and give your angels the authority to move things around for you or to call someone in. Um, but with angelic help and guidance, that's likely something you may have asked for or something that they're doing based on a desire or a want they can sense in your energy and your heart. Um, so I see your angels bringing this directly to you and vice versa, bringing you to this person and we have official date in blossoming romance so nothing about this is complicated it's like even when it comes to getting together all of it is very very simple it's just like everything is simple makes sense it's not overly complicated it's not a difficult journey it's not a bunch of misunderstandings or confusion it's just very easy and very good so I'm loving this energy so far blossoming romance is an energy of your romance blooming blossoming and growing with this person and um, having a connection manifest that's fairly new. So I see this person taking you on an official date. I see that this person um, is like, okay, I want to lock it down. I don't want to keep you in the DMs all day. I don't want to keep you in the text messages. I don't want to keep this flirtation ship going. Like, let's get to that date, okay? I want to date you. I want to see you. All that good stuff. So I love it. Uh, we have understanding and pure so when understanding came out, I was tapping into like a unique group of people who may have something going on with them that most people don't understand and you need someone who's really understanding of that. Um, this could be like your personality type. This could be a certain lifestyle you desire to live. Whatever it is for you, I do see this person being very understanding of, you know, whatever you specifically require. So I don't feel like that'll be a problem for you guys. I actually feel like you guys will lock in pretty easily and quickly. This person is very open and understanding to whatever you may need. It just feels like everything is like everything that was so complicated before is just made so easy with this connection. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's a few cards that flipped over. I did not even see them. My goodness, I didn't even notice that until just now. All right, let's talk about it. We have, yeah, a lot of cards talking about um, something new that's starting. We have You Get Me. So I see this person understanding you and you understanding them on a deeper level. This person gets you. Uh, and it doesn't matter how unconventional it is. I feel like this person is genuinely very understanding of whatever you have going on. We have pure and enjoying the moment. So like I was saying before, it's like this connection is so pure and simple. And you guys are enjoying the moment. It's not about rushing to... Um, anywhere or anything. It's just like two people connecting on a really genuine level. You guys have really good uh, banter with each other and really good physical attraction as well. We got banter and love bite. 
Um, so really good smooches with this person, really good banter. You can talk to each other, play around with each other. If you're someone who's like notoriously sarcastic or if you have a very dry sense of humor, certain sense of humor, it's like you can't really tell if someone is joking or not. Um, but with this person, they may find even like just your personality in itself to be very funny. I'm picking up on someone who's like dead serious when they be talking. Like you may have these kind of out of pocket beliefs or statements, things to say, takes. And um, this person is very like, it's like they don't take it too seriously and they also don't get offended. They find it funny. So you may get that a lot. Like people tell you, you are so funny, but you're not even like a jokester. You're not even someone who cracks jokes like that. It's like you, you be like serious when you say whatever you say. And you may have had that before where people find it funny. And I see that with this person as well. We have building interest and getting to know each other. So very, very new connection. I would dare to say this is someone who will be in your life soon versus someone who's already here. If they're already here, you would kind of know because it's like they would be, you know, showing up exactly like this. Very understanding of you, what you have going on. You'd have good banter with this person. Um, like I said, all of this feels super easy. So if you have someone in your life and it's like a really good connection, but um, things have been complicated or delayed, that could still be a viable connection for you. But I, I don't see that that's this person we're tapping into today. Let's keep going, Spirit, for group four. Who is obsessed with them or will be soon? Yeah, we have out of the the blue that has just come out. So this is like spontaneously manifesting almost by magic. Yeah, that's the work of your angelic help and guidance. This could even be a connection that you meet through a friend of a friend. Because we have ask a friend and fun times with friends that has also come out. So I would say, you know, this would be a good time to check in with your friends. Like, do you have anyone that you think that I would be compatible with? Or even your coworkers. <clears throat> do you have anyone that you think that, you know, I would get along with? Because this relationship can come through you asking a friend. Ask a friend also a lot of time comes out when it's um, talking about like angelic help and guidance and a higher power coming through to help you. But we also got fun times with friends that came out. So I feel like you could end up meeting this person as you're out with a friend and maybe that person could be kind of stirring the pot and you know, your little wing woman or wingman helping bring this together. So that could be really useful. Now I am picking up on this. Uh, we have, hmm, we have reunion and let me go. So there is someone from the past that is still obsessed with you or thinking about you that will be coming back as well. It seems like this is a person you wouldn't exactly want to be connected with with the let me go card coming out. We got three as a crowd that came out. So maybe it's that their friends are too involved or there's an actual third party situation they have going on. Perhaps they're trying to like, you know, triangulate you between you and someone else even. There could be something like that going on. Uh, but we have the persuasion card here. So yeah, it feels like they are trying to convince you to, you know, move forward with them. And it could be through means of money with that whole money backdrop on the back of the persuasion card. So just be mindful of that. We'll break down each energy, see what their, you know, love offer is and whatnot, what they're trying to do. But I am picking up on that energy pretty strongly here of someone trying to reunite with you from the past. And uh, yeah, I just heard supply. Oof. I don't love that because that could definitely indicate that, you know, you are their supply in some way. So they come to you whenever they need a confidence boost or, you know, this could be something that they do, like something that they've done more than once, something that's kind of becoming a pattern at this point where it's like, yeah, this person, they actually do this. They come from out of the blue when they aren't dealing with someone or when they're wanting a confidence boost or for whatever reason. Um, we have out of the blue and synchronicity. So this is talking about your person. Uh, synchronicity seems like spirit is giving you some signs and signals that they're coming as well. You're likely going to get an indication that this person is on the way. You'll be receiving synchronicities. That's pretty common, especially when you're working with higher level powers or your angels, your ancestors, whomever, whomever you're working with is helping you. They'll give you little nuggets of inspiration and then they'll kind of let you know what's happening and what's coming. So you will get some signs and signals about that. All right. 
Spirit, tell us about this reunion. What is their love offer? Or what are they going to do here? What are their true intentions for this person coming back for this reunion? You know, honestly, I have a, I get a feeling that this person doesn't even know what they're doing. We have the Fool card, so it's like, I want to try something new. I want to do something different. Yeah, Three of Swords. It's based in some sort of tur turmoil or I feel like karma that they've experienced. This reunion from the past, I was just telling someone that not too long ago about how when people come into your life and you come back into union with them, you're balancing the scales. So if you wonder why your ex that did you wrong time and time again and you always accepted them back hasn't gotten any karma, that's because every time you come back in alignment with them, back into a relationship with them, the scales get balanced. Whatever they've done in the past no longer gets punished because you have accepted them again. So that's essentially balancing the those karmic scales so spirits like okay karma doesn't need to collect because you've accepted them back you're now in agreement with this person again so that's now balanced so it could be a situation like that where it's like they're trying to come into agreement with you trying to get back in a connection or relationship with you even if the last time they spoke to you they ghosted or they did you dirty in some way or they tried to triangulate you we did get threes of crowd that came up this person they may have you know money or notoriety or a high position they could be respected um, because with that persuasion card, I don't feel like it's the first time that they've ever tried to persuade someone, someone through financial means. And with that coming up with how they're trying to persuade you, I feel like that's their pattern. They come through with all this energy and all this like fun um, because they have the access or the you know ability to do so. They have the resources and um you know, that's how they kind of get people wrapped up in them again. But we got the Three of Swords with the Fool card here. So this isn't the first time that they've done this. They're coming back to you um, because you were their supply in some way. We got the Two of Wands reversed. Um, so they're pretty resolute, actually, about what they want. And we got the Knight of Swords reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. So if I had to say, I would say that they have more of what they've already given you to offer. So if that's inconsistency or if that's triangulation, whatever. Ever. I just don't see that this person has changed. Now, if things have been like pretty decent in the past, maybe you'll consider it. But, you know, Knight of Swords reverse is like, I'm not even really putting in any effort. Um, we got the Eight of Wands reversed here as well. So it's like they're literally just reaching out to you. That's it. They're not even like, unless they can get you on a date, they're not even really putting in that work for real. They're not even like apologizing or anything like that. With the Queen of Cups reverse, they may still like some boundary that you have they're crossing when they speak to you so like if you're someone who um doesn't like when you know say like you, a masculine you know refers to feminines as bees or females a lot of people don't like that this person could like come in and it's like the first conversation you're having with them they're like be that like and it's like no no they're still on that same kind of vs so i would say with that one just use your discernment it doesn't look very promising to me but like i said everyone doesn't go through a super traumatic or harsh you know kind of pass with people just because they're of the past so if it hasn't been so bad or if it's even been good i see more of the past so if you can accept what the past has been for your situation i would say it'd be worth entertaining Let's get their thoughts and feelings and then we'll move on. What are they thinking? What are they feeling, spirit? Yeah, we have a let's start over. That's that fool card that we got before. All right. I feel like they're starting to put some respect on your name, especially if you have had like any level up recently. If you've reached any goal, gotten a new degree, started a new platform, started a new business, if you've leveled up, you know, mind, body, and soul, it could be a physical level up. We got let's start over and I want more than we have. So I'm picking up that this person wants to try again and they do want more than what you have. It feels like that's where you guys may have gotten stuck in the past where they just kind of ended up stuck on whatever has already transpired and happened. 
we have a hard, we have, I have a hard time communicating and I think you are very talented. So that's the part that made me feel like, okay, they're starting to, you know, put some respect on your name. I feel like they have saw something that you've done recently and that could even be the thing that's attracting this person towards you. Just be mindful of that. I'm not going to lie. I don't particularly love that energy either because it's like, do you love me or my accomplishments? You know, do you want to be associated with me or my accomplishments? But this person is seeing you in a better light. They feel like you're talented. You know, you've had some success or done something that has made this person feel like, okay, you know what? I got to put some respect on Group 4's name. All right, Spirit, tell us about this pure connection with this official date here being led to them by Spirit. Tell us about this. Mm. You know what? Ooh. Your heart really may be stuck in the past or stuck on someone or something else. Maybe this person isn't your exact type or maybe it's that you've been trying to manifest something else through love because I did get that before um, where it's like, you know, partially this is a manifested not a manifested connection, but something that's brought to you by the universe and it's very pure. And I was saying like, it's not about trying to get something from a relationship. Like it's not about, so like as a feminine, something you may often look for is security. Can this person protect me? Are they loyal? Can this person provide for me as well? Are they financially abundant? Or as a masculine, you may look like, okay, can this person nurture me? Um, can this birth person like, you know, birth for me? Can this person, would they be a good, um, parent? Could they run the household well, etc.? So on and so forth. There's all these different things that people look for, especially depending on the kind of relationships you have, but it's like ace of swords reversed with the ace of cups reversed. What? You guys, I see an energy of you rejecting this person. Why? <laughs> They're just, they don't have everything that you would be looking for. And a lot of people are keeping themselves out of relationships because they're trying to put all these extra things in life that they want to have or accomplish and just get them all through a relationship. And it's like, everyone has a different life path. Not everyone is meant to be rich. And there's no amount of, you know, working hard that can make you have it if you're not destined to have it, honestly. So many people work their whole lives for something and they never get it. That's the reality. Uh, we got the Four of Wands reverse and the Six of Pentacles reverse. So I ain't gonna lie, this is kind of like a rejection of what the universe is blessing you with. Four of Wands is like marriage energy. Six of Pentacles is a blessing from spirit. And I see a rejection of both. It's like, I wouldn't want to marry this person or... Uh, you know, Six of Pentacles reverse. I don't want this. This isn't what I asked for. So I feel like that's the difference. You may be manifesting someone specific um, or something specific. And um, this person doesn't embody all that you would be looking for. So I am seeing like a bit of a rejection here. I'm like, save it, spirit. Come on. We got the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Really? All of your aces, you got three of four aces in the whole tarot deck. And three of them, they all came up reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Um, we have temperance here, so I do feel like you'll get used to it. And we have the two of pentacles here, so that's all about alchemizing and things coming together. So I feel like this is going to be a connection that grows on you and that you warm up to. Uh, we got the two of pentacles reverse. You may be seeing some repeating ones and repeating twos. Two of pentacles reverse and the four of swords reverse. Soon as they come in, though, it's kind of like a rejection. So I want to assume that maybe you're not ready because you had been dealing with something else, like some other big cycle that affected you. We have the three of pentacles, though, so I would definitely do your best to open up to what the universe has for you. Three of pentacles is all about working with the higher power. So I would say try to open yourself up to what the universe has for you or what would be best for you and just see what comes through and just give it time. Give it time to cook and see how it turns out. We have beyond limitations and simplicity. That's what I was talking about in the very beginning of your reading. I was saying this connection feels very simple, very pure, very real. Simplicity says today I choose to simplify my life. As I do so, my burdens lighten. I release my ego's need to understand, prove, or control. 
And instead, I undertake every task with an open and humble heart. Seeing through the eyes of a child, I discover life in all its wonder and simplicity. As complications and chaos of the mind fall away, I remember that I am one with the light. So it could be worry or fear that if you don't have XYZ through your relationship, then things are going to fall apart. Or it could be you're kind of in a pattern or used to people who really show up and show out in the beginning, but they can't sustain it. So those relationships don't, you know, end up getting you all the way to your end goal. I would really say try something new group for. Beyond Limitation says, today I exceed my own expectations. I open my consciousness to the infinite where there are no limitations and there is no end. Everything is unfolding in a continuous now. Therefore, I open my thoughts towards a broader horizon. I look beyond my perception of reality and beyond all barriers created from my beliefs and fears. I am now open to new possibilities. This is very new. This is very nerve wracking, but... I really do feel like there's a lot of blessings that will come in this relationship if you'll allow yourself to be open to it. It's not going to be what you expected or what you would have requested your life to go um, about, but it'll be much better than that idea um, that you kind of had. So I would try to be open to it. That's what I got for you, Group 4. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. And that's what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.